Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to hibernate your ants and explaining how the process works. Also, I'll be giving you an insight on how the colonies are doing now that they're in hibernation. So, here's some stuff that I actually did not know until I did a bit of research. So, maybe you guys already knew some of this stuff, and if you didn't, leave a comment telling me if this was helpful. So, I actually learned that all pupae, well I'm pretty sure all pupae and all eggs die during hibernation. So that's why you'll see all of your ants eggs stop at the larvae stage. Because the larvae can regulate their body temperature and keep themselves alive and well maintained during this time. And that because they have enough fluids in their body to develop their own glycerol. But yeah, I just thought it was cool because I never actually knew that only larvae survive. I guess that's why you'll notice that before winter, they all are in that stage. Because for a while now, my Campanatus ants have just had larvae and I was worried about them. But I guess the reason is because is they stopped developing earlier ahead of time so that they'd all survive. I guess I was just worried about it even though they were doing what they were just supposed to do. Okay, so I'll just show you this really cool colony. So this Campanatus colony actually went into hibernation a lot quicker. As you can see, they're starting to reawake now. As you know, the queen has the most fluid and guts in her, and that's why she's waking up a lot slower. Okay, now let's look at how some of the different species deal with the cold. Smaller ants that don't dig very deep nests, like Laceus, tend to dig really deep under the ground, about four feet. The reason that they dig that deep is because, well, the deeper they are, the more constant the temperature. So, four feet under the ground is roughly 10 degrees Celsius, which is good enough to keep them alive. But what about the ants that live above the ground, like carpenter ants? Well, they use the method where they produce glycerol with their hemolymph, which basically causes this glycerol to go into their blood and causes their blood from not freezing in the winter. So that's how carpenter ants can survive in minus 20 weather and then still be fine the next summer. Well anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how ants hibernate the, through the winter. I guess it's not as much of a, of a tutorial, but I still hope you guys enjoyed anyway. I don't even know how we're at 300 subscribers because that's, it's in, that's insane. So thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. And I really hope I see you in the next video. So see you then guys. Bye.